biology teacher and I, I stutter. St stuttering by definition means to talk with involuntary repetition of sounds or involuntary pauses. In Toastmasters, we ta talk about pausing, but can you imagine what it means to involuntary pause? That means that you are pausing without choosing to pause. Like someone coming up to you while you're giving your speech and saying, pause, pause, pause. Or an, an, an awe counter who is mad with power, interrupting speakers during their speech, counting filler, filler, filler. What, what might you do if there, what might you do? If there were someone like that, would you avoid that person or get, get frustrated with them? If it's someone you can avoid, you might develop behaviors to avoid that person, like avoid going to the wa water cooler when they're around or avoid them in the hallway. If you can't avoid them, you might confront them and discuss how it bothers you. However, if you can't confront the issue, like maybe it's your 80 year old grandma, you, you just have to accept that when you have a conversation with grandma, she will interrupt you. Uh, not get angry, but laugh it off. Like, oh, grandma, I can't get a full sentence in. You, you always make me, make me speak with bre bre brevity, but I accept it because I love you. So what have we learned? We have three ways of dealing with someone who continually interrupts you. Avoid, confront, or accept. Now, pe 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 people who stutter like me pay speech therapists $100 an hour or more for that kind of advice. Let's look at, at each of those for, for someone who stutters. The first one, avoid. You, you might be wondering, with stuttering, is it even possible to avoid involuntary repetition of sounds or involuntary pauses? The answer is no and yes. No, because someone who stutters as an adult will stutter throughout their lives. Yes, because that adult who stutters can avoid stuttering by simply not speaking. I've done that a lot. Like how I avoided raising my hand even when I had a question in almost every class from when I started stuttering in fourth grade to graduating from college. You can also avoid stuttering by switching words or using fillers. Fillers like whole words or even whole phrases like, I mean to say, I mean to say, I mean to say, yes. That, that would require some advanced level accounting. The speech therapists call that a run, run, running start, which I guess means that you take off before you even said what you want to say. If you can't avoid, if you have to absolutely speak, like if my grandma has, has coronavirus and I have to call 911, you deal the second way, confront. What does it look like to confront stuttering? Imagine confronting your rude uncle about being rude. It's scary to do it, you build up the willpower to speak, but before you can finish, your uncle is already interrupting you, putting you down, and you have no choice but to tune him out, or his words will strip, will strip away all of your self-confidence. Now, with stuttering, uh, that struggle of speaking while trying not to stutter, trying not to be interrupted, can lead to a lot of tension. Imagine trying to speak with someone holding up your jaw. You build up a lot of tension in your neck and facial mus muscles. That's exactly what happens when someone who stutters is trying to speak, but also trying to avoid stuttering. That confrontation ends up in a fight. And like we all know, fights are always lose-lose. That brings us to our third way to deal, except what does that look like? It looks like embracing your interrupting grandmother, accepting that she's not going to change and you will always love her and continue to have conversations with her, even if 
that means, she will interrupt you. To decrypt that code for stuttering, this means being aware to not avoid or confront in a hostile way. It looks like involuntary repetitions or pauses and moving on to the next sound with a smile in a calm manner. This is called clean stuttering. It is one of my goals here at Toastmasters and I hope to practice this in all of my speeches. What will you choose the next time something is bothering you? Avoid, confront, or accept? All right, thank you. Thank you, Drew. What I enjoy the most about icebreakers is that it gives everyone else an opportunity to get an opportunity actually to better know you and know something about you. So thank you to two great speeches that I enjoyed. It is my understanding that we have a guest tonight and please, I apologize if I ruin your